President-elect Donald Trump is threatening to use tariffs as a way to help stop the flow of illegal drugs and migrants into the United States. Trump posted about his plans the same day that the Justice Department special counsel moved to drop two federal charges against him. Natalie Brand has the latest from the White House. Making good on a campaign promise, President-elect Donald Trump threatened on social media that one of his first executive orders will be to charge Mexico and Canada a 25 percent tariff on all products coming into the United States. He also says he'll charge China an additional 10 percent tariff. Trump says he's putting pressure on these countries to stop the flow of drugs such as fentanyl and migrants from coming across the border. The question really is, how big are these tariffs going to be? Because this is the first salvo. It could be a negotiation. We don't know for sure. Canadian officials say they will discuss the issues with the incoming administration. Mexico's president also said she was willing to talk, but suggested Tuesday that Mexico could respond with tariffs of its own. And a Chinese embassy official warned that no one will win a trade or tariff war. The president-elect notched a big legal win Monday after the Justice Department special counsel effectively dropped two high-profile cases against him. Jack Smith says that Trump's re-election means he cannot be tried on charges that he plotted to overturn the results of the 2020 election. The dismissal is not because they don't stand behind the evidence, they feel it's strong, but because the Constitution mandates that they cannot uh, prosecute a sitting president. Smith also asked a federal appeals court to remove Trump as a defendant in the classified documents case in Florida, which is currently being appealed. Trump called the cases political hijacking. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. Trump still faces criminal cases for election subversion in Georgia and sentencing in the so-called hush money case in New York, a conviction his lawyers are seeking to dismiss.